Hello everyone. Uh, today with my new video, it's about uh, uh, vascular pressure and interstitial uh, pressure. Uh, actually, uh, many two pressures: colloid osmotic pressure and hydrostatic pressure. These uh, both pressure are present in the blood vessels, and uh, between the blood ples uh, blood vessel and the interstitial fluid, uh, the fluid exchanging during the fluid exchanging, uh, those pressure are actually these are both pressures are present. So I'll discuss. I'll try to discuss both of them. Uh, first, I will go of a very little topic: uh, blood flow. This blood flow is mainly two types. First is laminar, and second is turbulent. Uh, the laminar is uh, considered. This is a blood vessel, and inside the blood vessel, blood is flowing in the layer. Which layer is near the blood vessel? The speed is slow, and which blood layer is middle? The speed will be high due to resistance. the resistance is very high which layer is near by the vessel and resistance is very low which uh, lay, blood layer is mid which blood layer is in the mid so this is how and this type of blood flow is making parabola how like this this is a parabola and this type of blood flow uh, uh, producing no sound there will be no sound so this is the one uh, laminar uh, blood flow i will go for the second one that is called turbulent blood flow and the second one turbulent uh, blood flow is also called brutes so the second one turbulent blood flow is making eddy current how if the blood vessel is due to any problem blood vessel is constricting so what will be the blood flow blood will be obstructed which layer is near by the vessel and which layer is in the mid that blood can go very fast the blood with speed will be increases so there will be more and more resistance uh, between the blood layers so due to this resistance this blood uh, this blood layer will start making eddy current or turbulence so that is called yeah turbulent blood flow so this type of blood flow is producing the sound so between the comparison the first one is laminar and second one is turbulent in the turbulent we have sound and eddy current and the laminar there is been no sound and just a simple parabola so this is about the blood flow now now i will go for the colloid osmotic pressure and hydrostatic pressure from the aorta blood is coming to the peripheral uh, peripheral circulation so i think this is a arterial end arterial end and venous end venous end so from the artery is coming from the aorta that is giving blood supply to the all tissue organ muscles and uh, also the bones for nutrients calcium and everything so due to this uh, from the arteries and the interstitial fluid there will be fluid exchange so the arterial fluid exchange and the venous fluid exchange both are actually both should be equal but the thing is both are not equal like artery arterial blood is arterial uh, plasma is coming to into interstitial fluid and interstitial fluid waste product is also going to the back into the artery both should be equal but in the arterial end the plasma which are coming from the capillary blood capillary to the interstitial that is high and in the venous end the interstitial blood interstitial plasma which are going to the going to the artery or vein vein that is high so arterial uh, arterial uh, blood arterial plasma is more which are coming to interstitial fluid and venous plasma which are going to the arterial side that is uh, the comparison between those this is less so some of the fluid will be left in the interstitial fluid can we say this fluid is interstitial fluid interstitial fluid so where this fluid will go so the guy the thing is we have lymphatic system or lymph nodes 
so this fluid will go with the lymph nodes and the uh, in the thoracic duct we have the final lymph node and the main lymph node which go for the uh, in the jugular uh, vein and uh, subclavian jugular, jugular uh, connection is there uh, there there will be drained this lymphatic vessel thoracic duct so and now i will talk about the pressure colloid osmotic pressure and which pressure is influencing this pressure uh, influencing this blood flow we have colloid osmotic pressure in the blood sorry blood vessel and also we have this pressure here in the interstitial so which this colloid osmotic pressure uh, yeah sorry so this one will be, this one will be hydrostatic pressure hydrostatic pressure are pressure which are exerted uh, by the accumulated fluid like a water hydro means water static means state so this pressure is uh, exerted by the accumulated fluid so this water wants to come into the interstitium and we have colloid osmotic pressure we can say this here we have plasma so plasma colloid osmotic pressure can we say this but this pressure is working against now we have here interst interstitial colloid osmotic pressure actually these colloid osmotic pressure is a pressure which are exerted from the protein here in the blood vessel we have albumin and also the plasma and other components due to this albumin is binding water and water so we have here blood vessel albumin is bind when albumin will be excreted out from the urine or from the due to any type of disease or infection or destruction of protein any kind of in this condition we we will uh, the protein level will be decrease in the blood vessels when protein level will decrease so this plasma colloid osmotic pressure will decrease so when plasma colloid osmotic pressure will decrease this hydrostatic pressure will work more because this hydrostatic pressure is uh, is uh, uh, increasing for water should come into the interstitial pressure interstitial fluid so the more water will come into the interstitium due to less protein so we will cause edema the fluid will come into the interstitial fluid so this is the and we uh, we also have hydrostatic pressure we have also have hydrostatic pressure which is like this and this uh, interstitial yeah which protein are present inside the interstitium these uh, this protein are exerting this pressure and the water is exerting uh, this pressure so in the interstitium uh, pressure is exerted uh, protein and water binding here and protein and water binding here both are very equal and uh, uh, equal and uh, <clears throat> very comfortable but the uh, from the arterial fluid exchange is happening by the hydrostatic and uh, here uh, and this this we have hydrostatic pressure and this we have interstitial colloid osmotic pressure these pressure are working uh, in the one direction and this both pressure are working in the one direction so when artery fluid is exchanging when arterial fluid wants to come in interstitium this hydrostatic and international sorry interstitial colloid osmotic pressure will work and the uh, uh, fluid will come into the interstitium and when fluid in the venous side when fluid will go in fluid actually uh, the uh, cells waste product 
लाइक यूरिया एंड ऑल एंड एवरीथिंग विल फ्रॉम द इंटरस्टिशियल फ्लूड गो विल टू द वेनस एंड सो दिस प्रेशर विल वर्क प्लाज्मा कोलाइड ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर एंड हाइड्रोस्टेटिक प्रेशर विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द इंटरस्टिशियल सो दिस इज अबाउट द कोलाइड ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर वी कैन ऑल्सो से कोलाइड ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर टू द ऑंकोटिक प्रेशर and this colloid osmotic pressure is exerted from the protein that is albumin and everything so guys this is about the pressures and thank you this support guys thank you